When we're looking for the perfect anchorage, there are a few must-haves. Protection from the wind. Somewhere new to explore. <laughs> something good to catch. And of course, privacy. Hey, Sean. Fish on? We caught fish. Woo, look at that thing. It's a monster. Today, we think we have found a spot that checks all the boxes, and we can't wait to show you. Definitely a lighthouse. Definitely a lighthouse. So, so this one, mail. we could keep and eat. It is. Look at it. It's like cloth. Join us as we explore incredible places while preparing to sail from Victoria to Siberia and Japan. Subscribe to come along. So are we going inside? We're going inside here, all the way up here, to there, where the yellow dot is. No clue what's there, but looking on Active Captain, which is part of our software we use to navigate, somebody put a review that it's a beautiful place, there's sunshine, there's a river to and kayak. And there's a river to kayak. I don't know about the sunshine right now. No, it's not looking very uh, promising. Not very sunshiny. To keep an eye on shore to watch for bears. That's, that's a good look. Today our goal is to find some bears. That's what we're searching for. Bears. bears. Hey bear. Hey bear. Gotta see the bears. actually connected to anything. What'd you do? Just forgot to run an extra wire for that when I ran new wires for the other nav lights. Plug the Starlink. Got to unplug Starlink. I don't want a nasty ground from Elon. Okay, Starlink's unplugged. Let's go see this boat. He's going what? We're doing nine knots? Nine and a half. Why are we going so fast? I'm thinking these are the bear watching tours. So they run a lot of bear watching tours out of Tofino, which is why we're following these boats up here because they all went up here. So this looks like a bear watching tour. And if they're up here, maybe there's bears because that's the goal today, find bears. Look at that catamaran. It's kind of cool. We'll wave. We'll see if they wave back. Nobody's waving back. This is an awesome thing we're going through because look at the currents right through there. And then there's some kayakers right there that we have to dodge. But again, our goal is to find bears. And there's seals. Look, there's one right there. Oh wait, that's not a seal. Oh yeah, it's a seal. He moved. See? Hello, Mr. Seal! Oh, he looked up. Big bald eagle! Look at that! Big bald eagle! <laughs> Did you see that little otter? He's like popped his head up and was like, what WTF is going on? What is passing me? That's what he said. He popped his head up and went, what the heck? <laughs> it's awesome. That morning we had no idea where we'd anchor for the night, but we knew what we were looking for. Shelter from the weather, a place to explore, and of course, privacy. After checking the charts together, we picked Kennedy Cove. And if the passage there was any indication, this was going to be a beautiful night. Come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river. Get down on your knees. Come to the mountain. We'll take it in the field. You will find the life in I think we may have found 
our dream anchorage. It's called Kennedy Cove. There is nothing here. It's absolutely beautiful. There's no other boats. We are going into there. So come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river and get down on your knees. Hey everybody, can you believe it's November? And well, Blaine and I kind of want to celebrate because we think this Christmas is our last Christmas here in Canada. And to celebrate, we're going to have a contest. We're going to give away the Great Canadian Christmas Care Package. Oh, that's hard to say. And you can join and like get your entry in for free. And the only way to do it is to join us on Patreon or on YouTube membership. So hit the link below, join, get your name in because you could win the Great Canadian Christmas Care Package. And we're doing the draw the first week of December. So get your name in. It's going to be so much fun. And we can't wait to see who wins. You see all the logging, all the clear cutting they've done up here? And up here? Looks like that's a replant at the top. British Columbia is definitely known for its logging. I can't even explain the vibrancy of the colors here. We are definitely going kayaking this afternoon. As soon as we get out of our pajamas. Because yes, we are still in our pajamas. There's a whole river we can go kayaking up right there. I have to say, I love how Blaine is not scared to go into places like this. He just, let's go, drives right through, even with brand new engines. Amazing. This definitely looks like bear country though. I did not expect to see a slide in here. It's kind of weird. Kennedy Cove, tucked behind Kennedy Lake, the same lake you pass on the drive to Tofino. We're on the back side of it now, in waters that feel untouched. Kennedy Cove got its name back in 1865 from John Buttle, the Vancouver Island Exploring Expedition Commander honoring Arthur Edward Kennedy, the second governor here in British Columbia. But these waters hold a much older story, as part of the ancestral lands of the Clauquiat First Nations. And tonight, we get to anchor right here, in what we consider the perfect spot. We have had these kayaks on board for four years, and I can count on one hand how many times we used them. Well, Kennedy Cove was the perfect place. It was time to go explore the river. Two paddles, a dog, we'll go kayaking. Let's go explore. Oh, I echoed. There we go. She looks petrified. Why? I don't know. She's wagging her tail. Usually... She's good to go. Okay, weird. Okay, you good, Megs? We're going over to that dock. Nice. Nice job. It's kind of nice to be out kayaking. I'm going crooked. You are. I'm going crooked with you. <laughs> Like a tango there. Well, that's a big clear cut area up there. <laughs> I don't know if this is a private dock or what. It doesn't seem to be anybody around, but we are taking the dog to shore because she's really got to go to the washroom and we're going to do a little bit of exploring. I think this wharf is usually out there. I'm going. I'm going through. Well, there's toilet paper. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> I don't know, Blaine. Kind of weird that this is here. But I wonder if it's just for yachties because there's also a rope over there where it looks like people use it to climb the cliff to go cliff diving. I doubt if people would build this just for yachties. Hi. He's like, hello, daddy. Hi. Hello. Hello, Mugwump. You good? I'm good. Okay, I'll go get mine. Okay. But even the slide that's here. It was definitely weird why there is a whole raft here with a slide and no house. We should go down the slide later on. <laughs> oh, they've duct taped it together. <laughs> Maybe not. Any slide that's duct taped together is not high on my books to go down. Because all I see is my thighs catching in those cracks and it was like ow I prefer not to have a sliced up ass no no sliced up arse look how vibrant green that is though the seaweed on it Seaweed is a wild color. So there's supposed to be a shipwreck over here. So we're just going to go check it out. That shape right there does not look natural. So let's go check that. There's bubbles coming up from here. I think I'm in on a shipwreck. I'm on a shipwreck, I think. Yeah. Just a deer looking at us. Oh dear. And when we came upon a kids camp, the raft with the slide made sense. Taste of this water. Like it's not even brackish. Like you can almost drink it. It's like just a hint of salt, but it's almost all fresh. Is that river and lake right there? Keeps going. Oh, does it? Yeah. I'm not a very good kayaker. In my head, I'm like, oh yeah, we're going on lots of these kayaking adventures and everything. Kayaking's hard work, but we are going to make it happen. Right, Blaine? We just don't kayak very far. I'm trying to find the side with the less current because we are not professional kayakers and we think they're on the right side of the river up here. So we're meandering over here to see if there's less current because we want to get right up to the rapids up here and then we may get out and do a little exploration but there might be bears again we are on a bear hunt wasn't there a kids thing on a bear hunt or song mm. wow that's all i can say is just wow but you're probably like okay janice we want to stop looking at your face and look for it okay here we go Look at that, we're coming up to bright green rocks. Oh, I'm gonna hit a rock. Ah! I hit a rock. You ever feel like you're in Jurassic Park? Watch out for the Velociraptors, Blaine. through the foam and she jumped at it. Nope. She just slipped off. <laughs> yeah, now we're both at, <laughs> now we're both at 
Oh, she does look happy? I think we can go up this way. Oh, big rock. Uh, dodge the rock. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Blaine's stuck. He's high centered. <laughs> you okay? No. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm going right in here. Oh, no. I'm high centered. Absolutely gorgeous. I was thinking of going into there, but that might be a little bit stupid. But, uh oh, I think I'm gonna go in here anyways. Huh? Here I go. Yeah, I don't think we're walking across that. I don't even feel like getting out. in too and now I'm going down the river that's where I was and it pushed me out now I'm going this way paddle Is she gonna survive? Very sad. Is she gonna survive? She's very sad. I'd imagine. I keep her warm. We are just drifting down the river. We've got our kayaks attached. Yep, it's a heading, good way of doing it. We're heading for a reef though. I'm thinking we should have probably had a cider or a beer in hand. Whoa. We're gonna hit. What were we thinking? Yes, what we're, were we thinking? We're totally gonna hit here. No. At least you're gonna take the brunt of it. Yeah. Oh no! Boom. Still got ya. Okay. We'll spin around. <laughs> now you're gonna hit. Oh, I'm gonna hit? Yep. I don't know if I like going down rivers backwards. Oh, now I'm gonna hit that rock. Yep. Boink. This is like the ride at Disney. <laughs> We're just good. Like Whitewater Rapids. Yeah, the uh, the two, the big donut ride or whatever. Yeah, what's is. that called? I can't remember. Is it like White River Rapids or something? Or that's be. Wonderland. Or something Canyon. Uh, Whitewater Canyon? Whitewater Canyon. Oh. We are on our own Whitewater Canyon ride. We're just going to bump mm -hmm. our way down here. Hopefully there's no waterfalls to go under because that would absolutely suck. And if you're wondering how I got the dog, we got our kayaks too close together and she just jumps over. Turn code! <laughs> you dumped her into the water! Uh, I would say that I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, okay. So right here. And then we found our first sign of bear. Some, uh, some floaty scad here from something. Uh, I say that's bear. It could be bear. It's got lots of berries in it. Maggie's now looking at it. Maggie's like, oh, <laughs> shish, that's a bear. Maggie, is that a pee? What are you doing? Okay, Maggie, Maggie come here. back in the boat. Maggie. Go. Hey, back in the boat. Go. Come here. Go. I'm going to try crabbing again. This yeah, one but... looks a bit more promising. It's like maybe 50 feet, 30 feet. And there was all eelgrass on the bottom. And there was crab traps out all the way here. So maybe not as many 
otters to well, decimate them. Didn't crabs. see near as many otters on no. a dive in. So let's see if we can catch some crab. So I'm just baiting it with some chicken. And then we'll put this crab some trap yummy, over. Yummy, yummy chicken. Yeah, that's actually really good chicken I use. But I actually prefer to eat crab over chicken, so I don't mind breaking into the chicken thighs. Okay, let's do it. Come on, crab! Wait, wait, wait. Stop, I think babe. something was wrong there. Some technical difficulties. Forgot to latch it down. That was oh. dumb. I think you latched it down, but I think it might have gotten hooked when you no, threw it No, I never in. latched it down. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready. Give us good luck for crab. Because if you've been following along our crabbing adventures up here, we haven't caught anything yet that we could eat. Look at all the seaweed. Okay, let's go gunk holing. We'll leave that for a couple hours and see what we get when we get back. For us, gunk holing is so much fun. We take the dinghy and we go around shores of the bays that we're in and we explore. This time, we remembered the bevies. There's something about Doritos and boats. They just mix. As soon as you get boating, it's like, give me chips. Mm -hmm. And Doritos just, they just kind of answer the call. We are not sponsored by Doritos, but <laughs> Doritos, if you want to give us a call, we're game. <laughs> To the north of Kennedy Cove lies Cannery Bay, the perfect place for us to go gunk holing. Cannery Bay was once the home of Clackwatt Sound Cannery, built in 1895 at the mouth of the Kennedy River. This cannery sat near the main sockeye run, processing thousands of cases of salmon each season, much of it bound for Britain, where canned salmon was a staple for working men. The operation was bustling, with indigenous women and Chinese workers at every station, from cleaning tables to soldering cans. It was like a small village running full steam until the 1940s, leaving Cannery Bay rich with history from those years of industry. It's probably the clearest water we have seen on this trip yet. Jet skis, they're very loud. They are. Mm. They're going in by our boat. I think we should head back towards our boat. If they go into our cove, we should head back towards our boat. If not, keep going along the shore. I don't think they're going into our cove. It's not that we don't trust people, but we don't trust we don't people. Trust people. <laughs> it's gotta be the cop and me kind of thing. But when we can't see our boat and we got boats going towards our boat and our boat's all unlocked and it's just there. And there's nobody else around for miles. Yeah, we're gonna go get eyes on Tangaroa again, just in case. You know what, these guys are probably really trustworthy. They're just exploring like we are, but we can't see our boat. And basically that's our home. So we're gonna meander back a little bit. There's a sense of relief when we saw Tangaroa and the boats were nowhere near her. When we got in further, we saw that they were over on the raft for the slide and they were just chilling and enjoying the day. 
I guess we had nothing to worry about. I was looking at the gradient coming into this bay, into Cannery Cove. No, we're not on Cannery Cove, Kennedy Cove. And it looked like a good place to prawn. So I've already got the crab trap out and I haven't done any prawning up here in Tofino yet. So let's go try. Let's go put out this trap and just see what we can get. So I've got my Frisky's cat food mixed with my prawn pellets and I'm just setting up the trap now. <sighs> It'd be awesome to have some prawns and crab tonight, wouldn't it? Okay, the prawn trap's all set up. The prawns actually come into these holes. They eat the food here, which is the cat food and the pellets, and then they can't get out. So I've got the three holes all hooked up quite nicely. And I'm gonna go out there and find where it's about uh, 200 feet deep. I think I know where I'm going, but let's go see. But seriously, wouldn't that be awesome to have some crab and prawn tonight? got the crab trap out there and this is all eelgrass bottom which crabs tend to love and we haven't seen any otters lots of seals no otters so I'm gonna go way out here and see if I can put down the prawn trap and see if we can catch some yummy prawns too okay I think this is where I saw the you know it'd be so much easier if I had a little fish finder I could see the contours of the ground underneath us but I can't so we're just going to guess Guess, guess, guess where the prawns are. And I'm guessing they are right here. I have no deep actually, or no idea how deep it is here, but I'm gonna turn off the motor because we are in no rush. And we're just gonna let that sink. Fish on? We caught fish! Woo! Look at that thing! It's a monster! What is it? It looks like a little halibut. It's or a something. little halibut! <laughs> Look how or, small he is! Or something like that. He's so tiny. He's pretty tiny. Can we eat him for dinner? Uh, probably not. He's okay looking. <laughs> I caught a fish! That's, that's pretty funny. Can you take a picture of me? Let's go catch crabs! I don't know anybody who's been so excited to catch crabs. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I did put the prawn trap way out there and we're gonna pick that up tomorrow morning on our way out of this absolutely stunning cove. But I also think, actually it's high tide. The bear won't, bears won't be there for high tide. Maybe tomorrow or later on, we'll go for a little toot around to see if we can find some bears because we are still on the bear hunt we place. Are. That's the one thing we have not seen on this trip. Bears. If you've seen our previous videos, we have not had good luck got catching it. crabs. Hopefully we've got a bucket full of crabs this time. What did you say? Four small ones? I said four small ones and one bigger one. Five small ones and one bigger one. Not bad. That's that's not bad. That's a big rock crab. It's not a dungy, is it? I don't think that's a dungy, no. One, one little one. One little one. So this is a little rock crab and it is a... Male. To tell the difference between male and female, you look at the underside of the crabs. Males have lighthouses, females have beehives. A male. Lighthouse? Yeah. Or a beehive? A uh, lighthouse. Definitely lighthouse. We've got this one. Another lighthouse. Male. People are probably like, why are they throwing them away? They're just too small. They're too small. Another lighthouse. A lot of males out here. Another lighthouse. And the big one. What's the big one going to be? Big one's going to be stuck. Big one's stuck. He's got a grip. There he is. Definitely a lighthouse. Definitely a lighthouse. So, so this we one, male. we could keep and eat. But it's a rock crab. Do you really want to eat him? Not really. There's only one. 
There's only that one. would be pretty slim pickings. But there we go. Isn't it cool? Yes, he's pretty cool. Gonna set you free, Mr. Rock I Crab. Okay, so I put a chicken thigh in here and look. It's amazing what the crabs do. They actually break the bone. Look at that. It's just like cracked all to bits. And this is the only piece of the whole chicken thigh left. Like the strength in their claws. I've had, like I've been where they catch you with the claws. It hurts when they catch you, but that is amazing how much they can crunch that bone. Oh well, some crab's gonna get a free snack. Okay, let's go back to the boat. So we happened upon a camp and we're just taking a look around, which is really kind of cool. But look at the deer. It's a mummy and a baby. Hi, cutie. He's so cute. There's a mummy and a baby deer here. Blaine? I think there's tent sites over here. So they've got a big meeting hall over there. And then they've got one cabin. And I think these are the tent sites. They're all cleared and beautiful. There's outhouses over there. Yeah, these are tent sites. There's a mama deer and a baby deer. And after a full day of exploring, it was so nice to sit on board Tangaroa and enjoy the sunset. Good morning from beautiful Kennedy Cove. Maggie and I are heading to shore to look for bear tracks because we have been looking for bears. We have not seen bears yet, but we're gonna go look for bear tracks because it's kind of low tide. So we're gonna go over there. Plus Maggie's gotta go to the washroom before we head out and we head down to the broken group. I got some directions for you. If we see a bear, get back to the boat. Did you get that, Maggie? If you see a bear, get back to the boat. Okay, I'm loving how much eelgrass is here. So eelgrass was on the downfall in Vancouver Island. So the fact that I see so much eelgrass here is amazing. Um, because eelgrass plays such an important role in lots of animals, habitats, crabs, everything just needs the eelgrass. They're actually, divers are going down and replanting eelgrass gardens. So the fact that there's so much eelgrass here, it's um, definitely hopeful. This is like prime bear country. So we're gonna go towards the mud to see if we can find some bear tracks. We've got some kind of tracks here. I don't know if they're bear though. But something's been around here. Maggie. Come here. This way. 
I do have to say the seaweed is so cool. Look at it. It's like, I don't even know what it is. Look at it. It's like cloth. You can almost use it as a blanket. It doesn't even really smell. But look at it. Is that cool? Wow. Maggie, it's really ready. Let's head back towards the boat. Back to the boat. Oh, the boat's floating. <laughs> the guy became back, Maggie. Hold on. Good girl, good girl. We definitely got some eelgrass on the motor. Okay, back to the boat bags. <laughs> so we didn't find any bears. I think we found bear prints, but we're gonna have to get going. Our next stop is going to be the Broken Group. Unless the weather's really crappy going around the outside, then we're going to turn around and find a place to hide because we do not feel like getting bashed, you know, bashed in, getting, getting our arses handed to us going on the outside of Vancouver Island with the waves coming straight from Japan. First things first, got to pull the snubber off. Again, the snubber is this rope. It holds the anchor to you. It takes all the pressure off of the anchor chain. It's a windless arm. See, it's got a big hook on it and the hook hooks onto the anchor chain and then I let out the anchor chain and the rope takes over and the rope takes the stress off the windlass and also if you don't have a snubber when the chain goes across the ground it goes goo -goo 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 -goo. and I find with an aluminum boat even more so that sound just travels right through the boat and it's so loud. The rope kind of dampens the sound so you can't hear it. So hence snubber. This one, I made myself. Okay, you know what I need now? Tea. And we are heading out of this narrow inlet. Look how narrow it is. Land, land. Big boat. Land, land. And no bears, unfortunately. But first we have to go find my prawn trap, which I set out here someplace. We're gonna go pick it up with a big boat. But that was an amazing cove. If anybody ever gets up this way, highly recommend Kennedy Cove. It was absolutely stunning and so quiet. I think there I noticed, the big notice is wherever ever I am, there's always a noise going on. There's always a hum, a buzz, like everywhere you go, there is nothing there. And it was almost disconcerting that there was no noise. Like it was just so, Absolutely lovely. Okay, let's go find this prawn trap. Look at these ducks running across the water. Yeah, we're up to 135 feet right now. Okay, so I guessed on the contour line yesterday when I put out this trap. And Blaine says I kind of nailed it. There is like a little cliff area. So let's go see if we have any prawns. Fingers crossed, people.
The best part about fishing with a trap, whether it be prawns or crabs, is you never know what you're going to bring up. It's always a surprise that I look forward to. Yummy. They're like soft like butter, but this is my little crabby crab. He's gonna go away. Okay, I need a bucket. I need a bucket. I need a bucket. I need a bucket for my prawns. Woohoo! Okay, let's go get the prawns. Oh my gosh, they're, they're running away from me. So this is a tiger prawn. Isn't it cute? This is gonna be our appetizers tonight. Get over here, little prawny prawn. I got one spot prawn. One spot prawn. They're so yummy. Look at that. There's all my tanker prawns. And I can't see because my hat keeps falling down. Okay, that was successful. Rain and our to eat these tonight. I wish you were here to eat them with us because seriously they're like butter. They melt in your mouth. Look, Lane. Prawns. Prawns. Woohoo! Okay, let's go to Yuki. Thanks for joining us as we explored our perfect anchorage here at Kennedy Cove. Quiet, sheltered, and full of history. For real time updates and live Zoom calls, plus other perks like swag, check out our Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see where we explore next week on board Tangaroa.